Have you ever thought about what makes quiet people so strong? In today's busy, high-stress world, quiet people stand out because of how calm they are and how well they handle life's problems. The unique qualities of quiet people are not only excellent topics, but also represent a deep and unique philosophy of life, especially from the perspective of Stoicism. According to Stoicism, quiet individuals are not characterized by melancholy or blind optimism, but by their ability to see the world accurately and remain true to themselves, they don't get swept up in the emotional ups and downs of life. Instead, they seek inner calm and patience. Naturally, quiet people tend to be very private, keeping most of their thoughts and feelings to themselves. They spend more time listening than speaking. Some might find it odd that they choose silence and solitude in a bustling environment. However, quiet individuals see the world differently. It's what makes them unique and intriguing today. Let's explore the ten amazing qualities of a quiet person through the lens of Stoicism and discover why they are so wonderful and trustworthy. It takes time and effort to delve into the most interesting aspects of their personality, but once you enter their world, you'll uncover qualities that make quiet people truly extraordinary. If you're a quiet person, you might even find your own inner strength. Before we start, don't forget to click the like button, leave a comment below, and we'll talk about it more now. Allow us to begin. In our fast-paced world, where talks often feel like races for airtime, number one words with gra. The importance of carefully choosing your words cannot be overstated. Many people speak without thinking about the impact or accuracy of their words. However, people who are naturally quiet often take a step back and give themselves time to reflect before joining a conversation. Unlike many people who might talk non-stop about unimportant things or facts that they haven't checked out, these reserved souls think about their words carefully when they do share their thoughts. Their contributions are not only heard, but also felt. Their words tend to have a special weight to them, which is similar to the Stoic idea of saying only what is necessary and true. Imagine a roundtable discussion where everyone is eager to give their opinion amidst all the noise. When a quiet person who has been listening carefully finally talks, the room often goes quiet because everyone knows that their point has been carefully thought through. It's like their words have been sifted through a sieve of wisdom and restraint. This selective way of communicating not only earns respect from peers, but also gives the speaker more confidence. People start to understand and value the quiet one's views because they know that when they speak up, it's because they have something important to say. It takes a lot of self-discipline and inner strength to control your speech so carefully for the quietest ones. Among us, on the other hand, this discipline comes naturally to them. They live by the stoic virtue of reserve, showing over and over that sometimes the most powerful words are the ones that are carefully chosen and spoken infrequently. Adopting this stoic way of communicating doesn't mean changing who you are. It means realizing the power of words and choosing them with intention. It's a remmer remmer that in a world that can't stop talking, there is great strength in silence and great impact in speaking only when you have something to say. For some people, silence is their superpower. Does the thought of silence make you feel uneasy? You're not by yourself. Many people find silence uncomfortable, whether they're with other people or by themselves. To avoid the discomfort, people often fill these quiet times with background noise like music or TV, anything to block out what they think is the emptiness. But for people who are more introverted, silence isn't just bearable. It's where their power lies. If you're more introverted, you may already know how powerful silence can be. For many introverts, silence is not a void, but a sanctuary. It's a valuable break from the constant buzz of daily life that gives them room to breathe and let their minds wander. This is where Stoic philosophy comes in. Beautiful stories about people who are quiet, Stoicism teaches us the value of inner peace and self-reflection. 
and it encourages us to be happy with our own lives instead of relying on things happening to us. A Stoic gets the focus and strength they need to deal with life's problems in silence. During these quiet times, quiet people often think deeply about their long-term goals and life choices. They ask themselves if they are truly living in line with their values or if they need to make changes. These self-reflections may seem simple, but they are deep acts of mental and emotional alignment that many extroverts might miss. Someone who likes quiet will miss the noise of all the people talking all the time. Being able to sit with your thoughts can feel like a superpower because it helps you become more resilient, focus on what's important, and go into life with a clear and calm mind. So the next time you have a moment of peace, resist the urge to do something right away. Instead, see it as a chance to channel your inner stoic and let your thoughts organize themselves without any interruptions. Silence is more than just not making any noise. Wisdom can grow there if you let it. Use it as the strong tool that it is, and you might find the quiet strength that has been there the whole time. Number three, mature beyond their years. Have you ever noticed that the quietest people in a room often have an aura that makes them seem older than they are? It's interesting, isn't it? How these people who have lived the same number of years as everyone else seem to have a lot of patience and understanding that most people don't have. It's not just about being quiet. It's about having a stoic grace that affects every part of their lives. For example, think about how quiet people deal with temptations and problems, while most people would respond quickly. Taken by the rush of feelings, people who are quiet stand out because they take the time to think about their choices with a calm and broad mind. Imagine someone at a loud party who could easily give in to the temptation to drink too much, but instead, they choose to have meaningful conversations or maybe decide it's best for them to leave early and rest. These choices may seem small, but they show a deep understanding of self-control and long-term well-being. This thoughtful approach shows in their careers, relationships, and personal goals. Not because they aren't emotional, but because they deal with their feelings in a way that supports their long-term goals. They know what they're doing and why which keeps them steady even when things are going badly. Quiet people not only show maturity, but also confidence and discipline that come from having a strong sense of who they are. They live by the stoic ideal that it's not the noise around us, but how we react to it that really defines us. Their strength comes from how quiet they are. This is a strong warning that sometimes the quietest words say the most. Number four, how to read people well. Have you ever thought about why people act the way they do? For many of us, this is a tough question to answer. But for those who are more quiet, understanding others seems like second nature. How do they do it? It's not because they have a secret superpower. Instead, it comes from years of careful observation and a strong intuition that picks up on even the smallest changes in someone's mood or body language. Quiet people are experts at reading people. They can figure out what someone is thinking or feeling by noticing small things that other people might miss. These people are like detectives who are always looking for clues about what makes people tick. Their ability to see what isn't said gives them a kind of insider's view on human behavior letting them guess how someone will react or what they might decide next. This skill is deeply connected to the principles of Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that values self-control and logical understanding. Stoics think that we should look at the world carefully and learn from it. Every day, quiet people live by this philosophy. By watching others without speaking, they learn more about human nature and how to put together the complicated puzzle of feelings and actions that make us who we are. Let's show how this idea works in real life. Think about teachers who seem to know exactly what a student is upset about, even though the student hasn't said a word. Or think about friends who always know when to give you advice 
or just sit next to you in silence. These people may not be loud or outwardly expressive, but they have a deep understanding of how people feel. Historically, many leaders and thinkers who practice Stoicism practice this art of observation. For example, Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor, wrote journals full of reflections on what he saw in the world and people around him, which helped him lead more effectively. Adopting a bit of this quiet observation can help us understand others better. It teaches us the power of listening over speaking and observing over reacting. For naturally quiet people, this may come naturally, but even the most outgoing people can learn from their example. Quiet people remind us that in a world that values noise and action, there is immense strength and wisdom in silence and observation. By tuning in to the quiet side of life, we can learn more about others, make better decisions, and ultimately live richer, more connected lives. This is the quiet power, a true superpower in its own right. Quiet individuals embodying a stoic essence might not openly express themselves, but they are constantly observing, absorbing and reflecting on. The world around them imagines sitting in a bustling cafe or walking through a vibrant park, while others may engage in loud conversations. The quiet person is tuned into the subtleties, listening to the melody of life unfolding around them. Whether they are mingling with friends or sitting through lectures, their journey of learning and understanding never halts. This continuous enrichment deepens their insights and molds them into reservoirs of knowledge. If you're someone who naturally prefers silence, you might find that your path to knowledge is less about speaking up and more about tuning in. You likely spend a considerable amount of time processing information, pondering deep questions, and connecting dots that others might miss. This can make you far more knowledgeable and prepared than others might assume. People often mistake silence for absence of thought of opinion of backbone. However, they're frequently surprised when a quiet individual articulates a point with precision and depth, revealing a well of knowledge and insight that had been invisible to the naked eye. It's a classic case of still waters running deep, where the quietude masks a dynamic inner life rich with ongoing intellectual and emotional exploration. Numerous people have used their quiet personality to make a big difference in the world, from the contemplative philosophers like Marcus Aurelius, who stressed the importance of inner freedom and self-mastery, to modern thinkers like Susan Cain, who champion the power and potential of introverts. The story is clear. Their lives and works show how solitude and reflection can give people a unique clarity and depth of understanding that helps them make important contributions to their fields and to society as a whole. So, if you ever feel undervalued because you are quiet, remember that your quiet observations and thoughtful approach give you a unique perspective. In the Stoic tradition, it's not the loudness of our words that matter, but the truth and power they carry. Your voice is rare but resonant. Your calm strength can move and inspire people in ways that loud certainty could never do. When you embrace your inner stoic, you align with a philosophy that values substance over noise and depth over display. This is a truly brilliant way to live and interact with the world around you. Unstoppable Productivity have you ever noticed that the quietest people around you are often the most productive? These people have a strength that comes from stoic principles, like self-discipline, inner calm, and the ability to focus intensely on the task at hand. Quiet people don't just work hard. They immerse themselves fully in every project, often going the extra mile, beyond what's expected without being asked. Think about the great stoic thinkers, like Marcus Aurelius and Seneca. These people were known not only for their philosophical insights, but also for how well they used Stoicism in their daily lives, showing how productive and effective they were at their jobs. Quiet people today show similar traits. They thrive on the philosophy of less talk, more action, and their results speak volumes. Also, quiet people have their own way of being productive. While most of us depend on outside factors like the supervision of co-workers, or the pressure of deadlines. Quiet people get their drive from within. 
They are self-ERS, who don't need much help to handle their tasks. This natural ability to self-regulate is a key part of Stoic practice, which focuses on self-control and personal responsibility. If you let a quiet person work in their own way, you'll see something amazing. They don't need constant supervision or a long list of rules. Instead, they use their passions and discipline to get the most done, often by coming up with new ideas and finding new ways to succeed that others might miss. Number 7. Important in Charge When we think of leaders, we usually picture them as outgoing and charismatic, grabbing people's attention with their words and presence. But it's important to remember that leadership also thrives in silence and reflection. Quiet people, who are often overlooked, have a special kind of leadership that is deeply rooted in the principles of Stoicism. Just think about some of the most important leaders in history who were known for being quiet. Abraham Lincoln, for example, was known for being quiet and reserved. He spent a lot of time listening instead of talking, which gave him a stoic calmness and patience that became his trademark. This quietness wasn't just a personal trait. It was also a strategic way for Lincoln to lead. By listening more than talking, Lincoln was able to deeply understand different points of view which helped him solve problems and handle difficult situations well. Why does this approach work? Stoicism shows people how important it is to keep their cool and control their reactions, no matter what is going on around them. Lincoln and other leaders like him show that the person who is quietest in a group is often the one who sees and knows the most, and as a result, leads the best. People often think that to be heard, you have to be the loudest in the room. Stoic leaders disagree with this idea. They believe that everyone has a story worth listening to, and by doing so, they gain insights that the loudest voices often miss. These leaders are not passive. They are actively involved in a deeper level of communication that involves observing, processing, and then acting in a way that is considerate and impactful. Remember that strength doesn't always come from loud declarations. Sometimes it comes from the quiet resolve to stay steady and responsive to the world around you. Let's value and encourage this quieter form of leadership, remembering that sometimes the most powerful thing a leader can do is listen. Think about a tense work meeting or a family emergency. While others may begin to worry, get angry, or even panic. The person who stays calm most of the time is usually the quietest one in the room. These people focus on finding solutions instead of making things worse. It's hard to say for sure why this is the case, but let's look at a few ideas. 1. You could say that quiet people have been dealing with subtle pressures all their lives, like how to be heard in a noisy world or how to make their inner thoughts match up with the outside world. Each of these situations requires a certain amount of strength and resilience, which helps them stay calm. Under pressure. Another idea is that quiet people tend to watch more than they talk. This habit of watching gives them time to think about and process more information, which helps them come up with thoughtful, well thought out responses. Like a Stoic philosopher, they might see life's ups and downs as something to be dealt with by being wise and patient instead of reacting quickly, no matter what the real reasons are. Having a quiet person nearby could be your best asset when everything seems to be falling apart. Their strength lies in their ability to stay detached from the chaos, making calm decisions and being a rock of stability for others. To all the quiet people out there, know that your calm is not just a personal trait, but a powerful gift to those around you and to everyone else. The next time you're in a high-pressure situation, you might find it helpful to channel some of that quiet strength. Take a deep breath, let the noise go, and keep your attention on the way to closure. Being a hermit could be just what you need to calm down when things get tough. Nine Epiphanies That Happen Every Day If you're a quiet person, you probably spend a lot of time thinking about your life's path, the people you've met, and the beliefs that shape your view of the world. 
you carefully look at your personal biases and misconceptions, working hard to find parts of yourself that are hidden from the world's view. Why do you do this so well? It's not just a break in your day to think about yourself. These quiet moments are chances to learn deep things about yourself. We'll call these unexpected revelations about yourself epiphanies. For example, you might realize that your calm demeanor, which some might mistake for detachment, actually helps you listen and empathize more deeply than most people. Or, you might realize that something you once saw as a weakness is actually a big strength in a world that values noise over substance. These realizations help you learn more about yourself and improve your relationship with yourself in a big way. By adopting a calm attitude, you learn to accept life's difficulties and enjoy the journey of finding these truths. It's not always clear or easy to figure out why things happen the way they do, especially for quieter people. But in Stoicism, there is a deep respect for facing life's puzzles with courage and calm, which are qualities you naturally possess. So, if you ever feel like you're not taken seriously because you're quiet, remember that your reflective thought is a powerful tool that, when used wisely, can lead to greater personal clarity and resilience. It's possible that your journey will be quieter than others, but it's also full of opportunities for deep, important insights that are lost in noisy places. Do you want to know what kind of friends and partners would be best for someone who is naturally quiet? If you're a quiet person or know someone who is, you'll know that they tend to be very picky about the people they hang out with. They don't like shallow, fleeting interactions. They value deep, meaningful connections far more than shallow ones. Really having a large group of friends or the largest social network for people who like to be alone and think among us, it's all about quality over quantity. They value a small group of people with whom they can truly be themselves. In these relationships, they are honest and open, sharing their deepest thoughts and secrets. They have deep, meaningful conversations that build trust that isn't just temporary, but meant to last a lifetime. Building these kinds of relationships takes a lot of work and dedication, two traits that quiet people have in spades. They value relationships by listening carefully and asking deep questions that get to the heart of things. This helps them understand others on a deeply personal level. Quiet people are also reliable. They keep their promises and are there for you when it matters. If you're in a relationship with a quiet person, whether it's romantic or friendship-based, be ready for a connection that might start out slowly, but will get deeper and richer over time. They might not be the most outgoing, but their loyalty and depth make them some of the best friends and partners you could hope to have. When it comes to relationships, they focus on the strong ideals of authenticity, depth, and real engagement, which are what make relationships truly valuable. Let's go deeper and recap the most important things we've learned from our explorations so far. In today's fast-paced and often overwhelming world, introverted people aren't just calm figures. They live by a deep set of spiritual principles called Stoicism. The allure of introversion goes beyond admiration. It's a moving testament to the deep inner strength and unwavering perseverance that help people get through life's rough waters. A way to understand what introversion is all about is to look at Stoicism, which is known for focusing on endurance and resilience. People often think that introverts are always sad or overly optimistic, but the truth is that they have a special ability to keep a clear-eyed view of the world, unclouded by fleeting feelings or sudden disruptions, instead of being swept away by chaos in the outside world. Introverts work on staying calm and patient inside, which helps them stay anchored when life gets rough. What really makes introverts unique is their amazing ability to accept the things they can't change about life while focusing on the things they can. By consciously keeping their minds off of things that aren't important, this method not only protects them from needless worry, but it also gives them the power to live lives with deep meaning and personal growth. Not very complicated issues. When bad things happen in life, introverts build a strong wall around themselves. 
As an example of strength and self-control, introversion is not a weakness, but a deep strength that shows how strong the human spirit is. It shows how to find peace in the midst of chaos and how to thrive in the face of hardship by following the stoic principles of inner peace and acceptance. Now, it's your turn to think about the quiet people in your life. You may have met them at work, in school, or among your own friends and family. Take a moment to appreciate the depth of their character, the strength of their resilience, and the wisdom of their introspection. Or maybe you found resonance with the qualities of quiet people. You too possess a deep-seated resilience and a pent for inner tranquility amidst life's chaos. Take a moment to reflect. Are you one of those quiet people who harbor a profound inner strength that stays strong in the face of adversity? Do you find comfort in the wisdom of stoic principles that guide your path to a life of purpose and resilience? As you go through your own journey, remember that introversion is not a weakness. It's a powerful asset that you are resilient. Power over oneself and deep inner peace. Before you leave, I want you to take a moment to interact with our community. If you found today's discussion useful, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more content that will make you think about stoicism and personal growth. Your support not only helps us grow, but it also lets us keep giving you and other people like you useful information. Also, please share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. Let's make a space for meaningful conversation and learning from each other. Also, don't forget to watch our other videos on the end screen. You never know what new ideas or perspectives they might give you. Thanks again for being a part of our community. And until next time, may you find the quiet strength inside you and thrive in every part of your journey.